Hey, 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 everybody, how's it going? It's the Otter Samurai here. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Chicken Police, Painted Red. Last episode, we were able to figure out the missing clues, and we ended up finding out that everything leads to this brothel here. And we just met with the the, uh, the leader of it, or the, uh, the hostess, the grand hostess. And she's one of the former, like, bigwigs of the town. This is the Zavos from the legends. Beautiful and deadly. It's covered. You don't see tit. Here we go. Beautiful pieces for sure. They must be worth a fortune. Dead clock. These Slime and punishment. They mean something. These Some pieces of my mind. These books are... 49 years of the reptile. Dr. Zeus. These books are here. Okay. Whoa. Oh, shit. Okay. There's got to be something there for that time. Seven, maybe seven forty-nine. Let's try it. Seven. Seven forty-nine. One. Forty-nine. Okay, no. I bet it's a, it's a clue. It's got to be something about those books. Because look at them. They got one key to the mine. 49 years of the reptile. The death of the horse. Oh, I don't think it's the death of the horse soul. Owls These don't blink. Here for a reason. They mean something. Seven pieces of my mind. So you got seven. Uh, 49. And one. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> they can't be Seuss. 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 Mm. 7491. No. Yeah! There we go. It was 749. I just didn't. <laughs> yeah, but I'm smarter than a spy. Well, this is something I've never understood. Why isn't a key good enough? I mean, you can take that with you, but riddles can be solved by anyone. Only if you're smart enough for them, like me. The animals get to be in this room, Marty. And the other thing is, maybe she wanted us to find it. Hmm. Exactly what I'm thinking. Who knows? Anyway, we're going in. This is a hot cast about her. But I am so smart. I am so smart. SMRT. I mean, SMART. The other must have been for show. Marty, this is the reality. We're talking about a professional spy. Ooh, dun dun dun. A former spy. Still, if anyone knows how to mask her real face, it's her. Mm hmm. But you think this is who she really is? Cold, dark, and tiny. She is a crock. And full of secrets. She is a crock. Walls. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Me too. We better get out of here before she comes back. Ah, uh, hell no. You just got here. Somebody started typing a letter but left it unfinished. Code definition. What does it Ooh. Say? Moon deliver parrot gross shining angel wings. Number two nine four seven two two two. Report about separatist group movements. Damn it! Don't even read that. What? Oh. I don't know about you, but I don't want to get caught up in the royalist separatist conflict. What you don't know can't hurt you, right? True. Uh, I can't even recognize you, boss. Where did you put your sense of adventure? In my cock pocket. Has retired. Leave it alone. 
All right, that's Hector the Fox III, King. Our great and fair king. Oh, he's kind of hot. I feel sorry for the poor fox, to be honest. I don't. He has it pretty good. <laughs> Would you like to live your life as a puppet? Everything you do, carefully planned. Your rule and authority, the whole thing, just for show. Just like the British government. And even if he is just a puppet, Clawville needs a king. He gives strength and hope to many animals. Huh. I guess. <laughs> the fox king. He's cute. I like him. He's cute. So the rumors are true. She was a croc. Military intelligence. This dame's really something. I'm starting to think the whole brothel is just a cover. Ah, uh, makes sense. You think she's still working for Royal Intelligence? Ooh. Well, based on what she told us, she's a committed royalist. So I imagine she does. We're gonna die, aren't we? Actually, is there more to say? We shouldn't cross the king. That would be beyond our pay grade. <laughs> he said, fuck the king. If we fly too close to the sun, <laughs> we burn our wings. Calm down there, Icarus. Hey! Actually, hold on. First... Uh, names, numbers, dates. Oh, furry gods. Furry gods, yeah, baby. They all belong to the brothel. Hell no. Half of it is a matter of national security. What did we step into? Big you mess. what? I don't care, Marty. I'm too old for conspiracies. The only thing that matters to me is to find out what the furry hell we're doing here. Furry hell. And what it has to do with Natasha. Sure. Okay, now we can do this. This has got to be it, Marty. Look at the missing page. Oh, God. Look at the names. We have the missing page, too. The ladies and their guests. Damn. What this means, Marty, is that the most influential people in the city had been Natasha's patrons. Oh, so shit. I was going to say, maybe just tell me. But you got Natasha multiple times. This book could destabilize Clawville. At least the Clawville we currently know. Ooh. You think this is behind everything? Somebody's blackmailing Natasha because of this? Because she keeps sleeping that with other fancy people? Case. But something still doesn't fit. That piece of a painting. Sonny? Hmm. If there's even a small chance of... Sonny. Uh-oh. I think I know what's going on. There's another familiar name here. Oh, what never mind. About? What? Augustus Bish Molly? Clucking His hell, Sonny. Molly? She was working here too. Oh shit. It's probably someone else with the same name. So that's why Natasha told me they'd known each other for a long time. Look, boss. I can't believe it. All those stories about her past. She was just a whore. Listen, Bossberg, Molly loved you, right? Isn't that what matters? No, she's a whore. Honey, please shut your fucking beak right now or I'll shut it for you. Ooh. Okay, boss. I'm sorry, but... Just shut the cluck up. We've caught them sneaking around uh -oh. Miss Diamond, you see? Shit. I see, madam. Oh, fuck. She's got a gun on me. Oh, back off, ladies. There's no need for this. We don't want trouble. No, maybe you don't. Unfortunately, trouble has found you, gentlemen. <laughs> dun dun dun! Say, boss, we needed to know the connection. What this place has to do with Natasha and my wife and, and my wife. Oh, filthy cops! He's talking gibberish. May I shoot him? Calm down, zebra girl. No. Not yet, Miss Diamond. <laughs> and then, then, like five minutes. Let's do a little exhibition. Then you can shoot them. I'd be very sorry to put holes in your lovely striped skin, but believe me, baby, I will. I've always wanted to know if diamonds are bulletproof. Oh my fuck! Fuck off, Marty. Please, madam. It'll all be over in a second. No, shut no. up. We have received different orders, Miss Diamond. Stand down. Orders. Oh, I see. The pony does tricks on command. Well, I'm not surprised. Shut up, Marty. Marty. 
You knew who she was, didn't you? What she meant to me. Well, well, Mr. Featherland. Aren't you interested in your case anymore? No? All it took was a name from your past, and your professionalism drowned in the mud. Damn. Stop playing games with me, Zavos. What does all this have to do with Molly? Nothing at all. No, she was just a little bird among the many who sought refuge here. Did she whore herself you out? forced her into this. You'd love to hear that, but until she met you, she was one of us. Just another... Whore. You clucking... Sonny, no! Uh-oh. Oh, shit! What the cluck? I think I was dreaming. But it wasn't the kind of dream you'd want to remember. Whoa. Dark and painful. Then the suffocating smoke woke me. How do you like your eggs? It wasn't fried eggs, that's for sure. Where was I? What happened? Oh, shit. That treacherous crocodile. Ah, ah. And I saw Marty, who looked as horrible as I felt. Well, I've always wanted a romantic sea voyage. God's oh shit! I knew I shouldn't have gone along with this. Marty, I told you you could get out any time. <laughs> and you knew damn well that I wouldn't. That I would never leave you in deep shit once I've joined you. You knew it, and you still asked me to do it. <laughs> Marty. Listen, you're a selfish bastard, Sonny, and you drag everyone around you down with you. Oh, no. How long was it till retirement? 120 days? 121. But Damn. you just couldn't sit still on your ass, could you? Well, take a good look around, boss bird. This is you, and this is what follows you. Just this clucking misery and dead bodies. Do you understand? You have nothing else to offer but suffering. Oh man, why are we fighting right now? And feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, you're great at that. I can't believe this shit. We're gonna die here on a god's damn blazing ship like roast chicken. Well, it's dramatic and <laughs> just like you like it. <laughs> I want some barbecue out of chicken. What? I've almost managed to untie the knot. But if you keep thrashing around like that, we're really gonna die here. Ah, oh, for cluck's sake. Fine. Work your magic. Until then, I'm gonna say all the prayers I know. Oh, we're gonna you clucking bet. die. Oh, shit. Damn it. Okay. Uh I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> now we run and swim. I can't swim. Well, you better learn fast or you'll die. I'm not going to drag your fat ass to the shore if that's what you're hoping. Well, I shouldn't have brought this many guns with me. Throw them away then. Never. Then <laughs> into the deep. Ah, I don't care. I always thought your gun mania would be your undoing. Guys, please don't fight. You're going to turn into barbecue chicken. Fuck you, Sonny. Collect you. Survive this first. <laughs> Clucky, you study. I will cluck later. Well, Come on. After you, boss bird. You cluck me, I'll cluck you. Let's cluck and go. That furry fucking clucking gods. <laughs> fucking clucking. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Marty. <laughs> what? What you said on the ship. You're right. I'm an idiot. You were right. I knew this would happen. Or something like it. I dragged you into this deliberately. Because I'm not enough on my own. 
Sonny, cut the crap. No, I'm serious. I knew I couldn't do this alone. I needed you to, well, to look out for me. I don't need this, all right? Stop playing the wounded soul. I don't fucking care. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Hell yeah, I'm fucking right. Oh, well, Hell yeah. Shut up now. Good. Aw. Marty, be nice. Molly's name popped up where I expected at least, in Madame Zweiss's book. Zweiss tried to do away with us. But why? Is she cahoots with Ivan Wessler? Marty's right. I was an extremely selfish bastard. It's nothing to be done now. We're already here. I have a feeling it's going to stand by my side until the very end, as always. Who will run out your feathers with holes without thought if she has to? Hey, Captain Marsh. Captain Marsh. Capybara. Male. Talks like a real pirate. Smells like one, too. Here is Captain Marsh. Yeah, probably never was a real captain, but still one of the most righteous fellows I ever met. Cool. Three pieces. Fuck me. That's old Captain Marsh. I thought he died 50 years ago. Can't get rid of a capybara that way. I think I must have hit my head pretty badly. Say, isn't that Captain Marsh? You see him too? Oh, thank the gods. <laughs> ho, 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 lads. Arr. What the hairy devil are you doing out here? <laughs> isn't it a bit cold for a swim? It was warm on the ship. At least while it was burning. I bet it was. Arr. Arr, matey. Hey, Captain, how's it hanging? It's hanging all right. Arr. Oh, God. <laughs> what no. Ruckus, eh? You watch my capybara penis? Oh, I think someone tried to kill us, Captain. Again. Come on, Boise. There's nothing new there. You're gonna get killed every 50 episodes. Yeah, old rust can't be scraped away. Did you see anything, Captain? Arr. Of course I have. A burning ship. Then two cocks suddenly learned to fly. <laughs> swim, by God. Oh, what a time to be alive, eh? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, old man. Sure I haven't. <laughs> I'm steady, like the sea of Clawville. Yeah, I like his voice. Clawville doesn't have a sea. Of course it does, laddie. Just not here in Clawville. Okay, <laughs> okay. That's too much for me. Coming. The captain is a much greater legend than he'll ever be. Everyone just calls him the captain, though he most likely never left shore in life. He's an innocent guy indeed, but maybe he saw something useful. You can swim after all. Yeah. Or the river spat me out. Well, what about <laughs> your guns? Did you throw them away? Hell no. Where they go, I go. And where I go, they're coming with me no matter what. I'm seriously amazed you're still alive. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm glad you made it, partner. Yeah. I s Jeez, what a floating coffin. Hey, this ships me everything. Don't fucking talk about me, ship. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean that. The city. Sunken ship. Tried it again, but I'm still alive. Bitch. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. You just see uh, Sonny in in a hospital bed with the camera is like, I live, bitch. Maybe next. You know, I have a feeling this night's just getting started. We were almost finished. Yeah. You don't want to quit, do you? No, Sonny, I don't. Thanks, partner. Yeah. <laughs> that was a close call. Too close. Water will swallow everything in the end. Water will... It's a beautiful ship. Ah, yes. Thank you. She is... Me beloved Brenda. I make love to my ship every night. Now, if you don't mind, get the fuck out. It's time. You've seen better days too, haven't you? You've seen... I swear, the pigeon... 
Well, anyway, I'm glad we both made it. Yeah, thanks. I must admit you were pretty dope with that rope. Dope with the rope. But still, clock me. Am I right? Without you, we wouldn't even be in this mess. So if you weren't successful with the rope, I would have strangled you before we both burnt to death. Nice thought. But your hands were tied, so... Sonny. Okay, okay, you're right. And now we'll have to see where this shitstorm is. You can't choke your chicken. Yeah. Your hands are tied. Burning us along with a ship. That's pretty dramatic. You stepped in big dung, that's for sure. Do you think Wessler and the crocodile are in it together? I get the feeling that whoever hit us wasn't a pretty gal. It's Natasha. Yeah, figures. What now? Well, we'll get ourselves together, then we'll figure out where to go next. Uh, sure. Where are we anyway? Well, we couldn't have drifted too far. Well, let's find hmm. out and get the cluck out of here. Good idea. Tell me, Captain, do you hang out here all the time? This <laughs> behind me is my ship, lads. Or at least, it's a ship I'm living in at the moment. It's not mine, you know. And what do you what? do? I stand here and watch the sea. Tis my job. The sea? You mean the River Times? River? <laughs> Arr, that was a good one, boy. <laughs> He's a nut job. He's a little nutty. A black car stopped not far from here. A rich looking car. Shiny and all. Ooh, that's a good clue. What else? Two big lads stepped out of it. One of them was looking like some kind of cow. The other was a cat. A big cat. They were fancy looking at the ship. I don't blame them. It's not something you see every day. I swear on all the saints of the sea. Maybe. Maybe not a cow and maybe not a cat. Or at least not a cat. Maybe a lynx and a goat. Just a wild guess. Was it a ram and a bobcat? Arr, exactly. Are you Knew friends it. of theirs? Knew it. An acquaintance. It's the bouncer of the Tsar Club and the goon that was hanging around Ibn. So yeah, Ibn wanted us out. Oh God, save us answers to Ibn too. Or at least they're connected. Yeah. Oh, arr, that sounds exciting. You got any more riddles? The old timer. This uh, Ram fella, what did he do after watching us? Arr, nothing at all, Eddie. When that lovely ship started to sink, they got into their pretty car and got away like bats out of hell. So they didn't see us swimming to shore. Arr, I wouldn't know that. Uh, what now? I don't mm. know. We can't go to the station, that's for sure. We agree on that. I think I broke a rib or two. Oof. Sight's getting blurry. Pluck me. You know what this means? We're dying. Oh, no, no, no. I'd rather go blind than go to Bubo's. We have to, pal. Bubo? I'm not your pal. Especially after tonight. Come on. We got no choice. <sighs> well, we survived the burning ship. I guess we'll survive the madman, too. Don't be so optimistic. I still got questions for him. Do you know anything about the place called the Sweltering Nile? Of course I do, me boys. <laughs> they don't really tolerate folks like me there. Cause I'm old and smell like shit. I'm not surprised. Hmm. Have you heard anything unusual about it? Arr, sure I have. They have the most beautiful wenches there, laddie. Like sirens of the sea. At the island, island of siren. If only I were a spring chicken like ye are, I'd be already running over there. <laughs> well, <laughs> Captain, that's where we came from. Oh shit, his hand is like twitchy. I didn't even notice that. Bloody hell. You know how to live, lads. <laughs> uh, we're doing our best, Captain. Hey, give me. You dork. Have you heard the name Madame Zavas? Arr, when I was young like ye, they were talking about a gorgeous crocodile with that name. I beautiful and deadly. Just how I like my women. Arr. <laughs> ah, me too. It's her. Marty, shush. Less beautiful now, but just as deadly. Arr. 
she has something to do with the burning ship, eh? You're, uh, quite the detective. Arr, so I've been told. <laughs> okay, that's all we can ask him. Oh, ooh, mystery. <laughs> Dr. Reginald D B. Bubo, Eagle Owl, male, morphinist, neurotic, old and ugly, but he's an old friend from the golden days of the chicken police. Bubo's a true institution, keeps most Quadville's gangsters intact and alive. Sorry, my hand was... And sometimes even helps cops that like to get repaired, unofficially, by the right cop station, of course. I feel sorry for him, but sometimes he's, I think he's the only sane figure in the whole city nowadays. Old Boba's apartment is also his office. I'm sure it's not legal in any way. Almost like my case. Of course, my apartment's not full of organs and limbs, as far as I know at least. Nope, I can only go to Boobo. Chapter 3, Out of the Pass. Oh wow, Chapter 2 is short. Bubo used to work at the PD as a coroner and pathologist. Then a couple of limbs and organs were missing. One? And the morphine stock suspiciously depleted, so the force said goodbye to him. He then set up a private practice, but lost his license pretty quick. Now he's doing something that vaguely resembles medicine. Fixing up gangsters and bent coppers. Or pigeons like us. I hadn't seen the doc since he had to pick a dozen pellets out of my drumstick. Thanks, Marty. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Look who the cat dragged in. Cat dragged in. One and only chicken coppers in the rotting flesh. I want to pierce your flesh. <laughs> the killing. Aww. Has he shot you again? Can I pick apart your flesh? Not yet. Ha ha, it is to laugh. I just need a strong painkiller. And since we're already here, some information too. Well, then I hope your pockets are full. Cause that's not cheap. Out of the river. So if it's all right with you, I can pay with a pocket full of mud. Well, I owe you one anyway. God damn it, I wanted money. One? Don't make me laugh, Bubo. You're indebted to us for the rest of your life. Okay, okay, tell me what's <laughs> wrong and do it fast. It's a busy night. On New Year's Eve, animals love to shoot or even eat each other. And I love picking apart the corpses when they're done. Tell me about it. Tonight's starting to remind me of the bloody New Year's Eve. Or worse. Ooh. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Did you come here to cry me a river? Spit it out. Then get your wobbly waddles out of here. Ursula will be home soon. Charming as ever, old bird. I want to fuck my wife. Now please get the fuck out. Science stuff. Like in the cave of the vampire bat in those horror movies. You're right. I think all of these are illegal. Or worse. Occult <laughs> magic. Occult magic. Demonology. Perverse desires. Unholy dealings. Would you two shut the cluck up? <laughs> I love his so fucking dud face. He was like, oh, shut the fuck. Things for sale, old man. I was thinking about going into black magic myself. <laughs> of course. You can have them for your liver. I love chicken liver. <laughs> uh, I just had to ask. Don't even joke about it. With some fava beans and nice Chianti. Uh, I know. It's a deer man. You think? Is this a medical illustration or the good doc's dinner? Unfortunately, the two are often one and the same. He likes venison. Ugh. Hey, did you draw this, Doc? Very funny. Are you here to sightsee or what? Not pretty much. I don't have anything better to do at the moment, so... I'm laughing myself to death. I just love Bubo's... It's almost <laughs> unbelievable that Bubo was once a real doctor. 
Okay, I, I like Bubo. I like Bubo. He's so f he's like I'm so fucking done with these guys. This is just for decoration, right? Somehow I can't picture you playing the mm -hmm. classics. It's Ursula's, not mine. She plays beautifully. I can imagine. Hey, shut your beak, or I'm gonna sew it shut for you. All right, calm. Damn, old man. I can only play one song on the piano. Molly wrote it. She loved to play music. Happy birthday to you, happy prank. <laughs> Just kidding. I can play Moonlight Sonata. Da -da 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 I'll cluck in hell. Get yourself together, bird. Da -da 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 Do you keep the dead bodies and your stolen morphine stash here? It's not stolen. Morphine's long gone. Do you see how relaxed I am? Oh, poor Boobo. Watch your beak, Martin. No way. I wouldn't put my foot in there for anything. No way. Who's that? Who? Oh, he's my father. <laughs> Who? Your what? Why are you so surprised? He gave his body to science. And what's he Damn. doing here? <laughs> <laughs> You're a hilarious guy. <laughs> that was a good one, Sonny. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> infantile monkeys so this uh, skeleton <laughs> is it really your old man boobo what if it is nothing nothing just uh, just asking yeah don't kill us good evening papa boobo papa boobo good evening oh yuck it's soaked with blood fresh blood I was operating on someone a few minutes ago. Totally sober, huh? Uh, more or less. Probably less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My hands tremble if I don't drink, okay? Just leave me alone. I love him. Have you considered that he may make us lie down here? I'm sure as hell not going to lay on that. I'd rather bleed to death twice. I'm with you there, pal. Marty's right. I'd rather bleed to death too. You look pretty good, old man. You want a formaldehyde diet? <laughs> Your humor hasn't changed. Worn and out of style. Yeah, that was funny. Just like you, Bubo. Sometimes I think Bubo's simply some grumpy, immortal, ancient god from the old world. Well, you can turn his head 180 degrees like this. <laughs> With the amount of poison he's pumped into himself, he should have been dead a long time ago. With the amount... Spit it out. What do you want from me? I have a busy what do you want? Busy. I had to patch up two muscle heads a few minutes ago. Of course, they ran off and didn't pay. Was it a ram and a bobcat? Muscle heads. Wait, let me guess. A ram and a bobcat. How did you know? Oh, they kind of killed us. Shit. What was their problem? Why did they come here? A bobcat's hand was badly burned and something had sliced the ram. Well, it's not an easy job to haul two unconscious roosters onto an abandoned ship and then set it on fire. What hmm. have you gotten yourselves into again, you fools? You goddamn idiots. You work for Ibn Wessler. Yeah, don't say. Really? Oh, you work for Ibn? Oh my god, no way. Well, in this case, it was nice to know you, gentlemen. Don't celebrate in advance, Doc. As Who you do you see, think you are? We're not so easy to kill. Just tell us everything you know. And give us some strong painkillers. Well, all right. Ask away. But I must warn you. If Ursula comes home and sees you here, she'll either kick you out or maul you to death. Is Ursula a tiger? Oh, she's a bear. Ooh. I still don't know who the mystery person is. I got four more pe five more people. Ursula Fragaria, brown bear, 
female. A big bear with an even bigger heart. A big bear with a big, big heart and big, big problem called Dr. Bubo. Joking aside, how are you, Doc? Long time no see. <laughs> oh, you should get shot more often than you'd see me more. Right. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm still alive. <laughs> Clawville's still standing, to my surprise. Ursula still bears with me, to my even greater surprise. Da -da 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 -da. You don't need anything else, then, oh. right? You know, I could use a big house, a normal job, and a ton of money. And it'd be great if that ridiculous King Hector would finally resign from the throne. Hey, he's a foxy guy. The separatists. Wow, this old owl's heart is beating. But your life partner is a bear. Mm, not a problem as long as I don't marry her. You're a goddamn hypocrite, Bubo. Why, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what does this tell you, Bubo? That you tore off the corner of a painting? We found it, stupid. Not that. What do you make of it? That somewhere a painting is missing a corner. Oh my god, Boobo, for fuck's sake. Don't cluck with me, old man. I'm not. I'm completely serious. Then, thanks for the help. <sighs> Don't mention it. Love is still in the air, I see. I'm a prisoner, boys. <laughs> yeah, the prisoner of your stupidity. Wish I was a uh, prisoner of love. You can't get rid of a woman like her so easily. A woman? Why? Because she's a bear and weighs a ton? No. Because no matter how much I hate her, I still love her more than anything. Oh, touching. Oh. Hold your tongue, McChicken. Get the cluck out of here. What do you know about <laughs> Madame Zavos and her affairs? Zavos, huh? Ooh. That woman's probably even more dangerous than Ibn Wessler himself. Because she's a fucking crocodile, duh. Great news. Is there some kind of link between them? Ibn's contacts span the entire city, and his new girlfriend, that Natasha, worked in the brothel once. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? Everybody knows. Oh, great. Damn. We almost died for that information. Why didn't you ask? <laughs> Could have just asked somebody. Damn it. Just shut up, okay? <laughs> so that Ram and his partner, did they talk about something? About their plans? Where they're going next? The Bobcat didn't say a word. He just growled. But the Ram <laughs> shut up. And he talks like a butler or something. He's got a very strange vocabulary, I must say. What did they say, Bubo? <laughs> Get to the point. After they've done the job killing you, I guess. They <laughs> said they have to kill a rat, too. They're going after their own boss? A rat, figuratively. Oh. An informer. Someone who spilled the beans and hurt Mr. Wessler's interests. I was gonna shit. I was gonna say shit. They're killing their own boss? Holy fuck. Informer. They call them a sneaky little bastard, too, if that helps. That's gotta be Zip. Uh oh. Of course. Zip. Damn it. Well, then that flea bag's done for. Hold your horses, Marty. Zip is like a cockroach. Practically immortal. Wait, what if, what if it's Lewis? Lewis might be in danger. We gotta help him then. I'm afraid you're right. We still owe him one. One? I didn't even hear that, Bubo. <laughs> so, who tried to get us out of the way and why? So who drives this out of the way? Maybe Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wasla. Hmm. Zip is a rat. Not so sure. This is it. But why? 
just because Natasha used to work at that place? Natasha was forced to work in the Bahamas. No. Okay, so he doesn't need new. Okay, there we go. The tracks leading to Natasha's past. Or maybe it was Natasha herself. Hmm. Not quite. But what does it have to do with Zip? Why do they want to kill the raccoon? Oh, no. <laughs> nope. Does it know something oh, okay. or has something that can unveil Natasha and Ibn's secret? We need to find out what it is. Dun dun dun. Case closed, baby. Sonny, there's something else. Your car is here behind the building. Ursula covered it with a tarp. Huh? What? Why? She saw it in front of the brothel. And she also saw the madam's girls trying to take it apart. Uh-oh. Furry gods. What did she do to them? Well, a couple of dames with guns are not enough to scare my dear Ursula, that's for sure. But relax. She didn't tear them to pieces. She just chased them off and got away with your car. You know, for once, that's wonderful news. Can we talk to Ursula? I wore my legs down to get here. Warmest regards to Ursula when she gets back, Doc. She may have saved our lives. <sighs> of course I will. Now, cluck off, will you? Ah, you're <laughs> the best, Boobo. You're the best, Boobo. I know. Will you kindly get lost? <laughs> we love you, Boobo. Bobo mentioned that Ibn Wessel's men are trying to off a rat. The rat could only be zip. Bobo helped us on a number of occasions in the past. We got him out of trouble even more than often than that. were quite fast, I admit. Ah, what do we mm. need to tell them? Any chance we were just joyriding around here? Oops. Not much. That's why they're gonna believe it. You think so? Just watch and learn, cub. Hey, boys. These two, again, of course. Who else? Would you be happier if it were Moses and Plato? Yeah, you're right. We're lucky. There we <laughs> go. Hey, guys. Hey, boys. I see you're working hard. Hey, what about you? What the hell are you doing here? And we were just driving through when we saw the party. And who are you trying to feed that bullshit to? Yeah. You. We're not eating that shunny. Eat my bullshit. This isn't your neighborhood. So, out with it. Why are you here? Pull back the spikes. What's going on? Just fill us in, fellas. Oh. Young girl, around 25 to 30 years old. Pretty? Some kind of doe or something? Impala, you moron. Aye, she was an Impala indeed, fellas. Wait, how do you know that, Marty? One of the officers mentioned it. Don't blow your top, okay? Carry on. We don't have all night. So, the girl was naked. There's no trace of predation. <coughs> I don't even know how she died. It's the coroner's day off. Shit. Another thing that only happens in Clawville, huh? Which reminds me, what are you even doing here? We're securing the area. Yeah, I can see that. I beg your pardon, Marty. I <laughs> have a nice time doing nothing, boys. I mean, securing. Ah, something's jabbed me in the eye. You don't say. Something's prickling my beak, too. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. Why do you seem so guilty to me, boys? Even your combs don't look right. <laughs> You're imagining things again, Phyllis. You must have stood out in the rain for too long. You need a nice hot cup of joe. Change the subject, <laughs> are we, Rooster? 
We're keeping an eye on you, you know. Wow. You bitch. That gave me the shivers. You too, Sonny? Now that you mention it, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of here. If you didn't know, this is a crime scene. Then what the clock are you doing here? Ha. Uh. Get the hell. Then what the clock? All right, we're done with you. Here's the alpha pup. Hey, watch out. He may bite you. A barking dog never bites. Oh, Bosco's not like that. He's as happy as a dog with two tails. Ah, uh, we're criminally funny. Yeah, <laughs> in a better world, we'd be in jail for it. <laughs> Bosco, here. What does this have to do with predation? Frankly, we've been working pell-mell for a while now, Sonny. There's simply not enough of us. So that's how it starts. What? The final collapse, Marty. The place are going down. Sorry, guys. Crime scene. You can come in if you want, Marty. But unfortunately, Sonny counts as a civilian. Ah, you bitch. All right, Bosco. We understand. Anyway, I don't think whatever's in there would surprise us much. What? Why'd you say that? Get Marty, shut up. Oh, nothing, nothing. We've just heard what's going on. It's one ugly case. Yeah, she was young and full of life. At least I think so. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm too old for this shit. You He's know? got Ragsy's face. I love Bosco. Here anyway. I heard there wasn't any predation here. It's a simple murder case, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. But the city's too busy tonight. We simply don't have enough officers on duty to cover everything. Sound familiar? I'm just a civilian. I don't know what you're talking yes, about. it does. So everyone's doing everything, eh? And nothing. Not what they should, anyway. But you know, I'm not even here. I just stepped in to take a look at the case for the boss. I'm already heading back to the PD. We just happen to be around here, too. So, uh, we'll be on our way now. See you soon? Yeah, afraid so. Anyway, what the hell are you doing here? We were just uh, driving around in the neighborhood, uh, you know how it is, voluntarily patrolling. <laughs> Furry gods, do you think I'm an idiot? All right, yes. All right, maybe a little bird told us. We got a scoop, but we can't tell you anymore. Why do I have the feeling that you're going to end up in deep shit tonight? We're kind of already in it. Maybe we're already in it, pal. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Try not to burn down the whole city, okay? Crime busters. We can't promise anything. I'd rather have a thousand Boscos than one blood boil. Yeah. You should copyright that. Phyllis and Royce were assigned as the Kansas City and Natasha's weekend house. I don't think they're very useful, but at least they're suitable garden gnomes. Okay, we're out of here. Mm, Sonny, are you sure they'll welcome us here? Look, there's a dog! I won't, but I don't care. I like this new Sonny. <laughs> Maybe it's just a statue. I swear he was blinking before. Maybe it's just a step. I swear he was. Hey, Lemur Lady. Since the incident with the burning ship, I see these girls in a different light. Yeah, total no bitches. Wonder. These demons are capable of anything. For sure, Sonny. For sure. Hey, I didn't mean it like that, okay? <laughs> professional. Hard as stone. I'm clucking hard. Right. Wounded, tough, stone hard cops. That's right. Oh, I never looked at the tiger lady. I'm thinking I'm a hundred percent sure I'm not. Oh, I never looked at the tiger lady. Sharp claws, danger and excitement. Hurrying, killer angels of pleasure. Lemur's like, I'm gonna kill you. What do you think she could be? Squirrel, cat, raccoon, maybe. She's just a woman, Sonny. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> this picture. Uh, this one's really artistic for a change. She's covering her tits, that's why. I have a feeling we don't fit in here. 
Well, we did just crawl out of a river after escaping from a burning ship. Mm -hmm. But these furies happened to set on fire. Exactly. So that means we deserve some premium compensation. Don't even think about it. I wonder what those beautiful, sad puppy eyes have seen. <laughs> Get me getting murdered on a goat pirate ship. Our little actress. She was good. She deceived me, too. But don't forget, Marty. These girls are capable of anything for their madam. Hmm. I wonder which one is her true personality. The gentle, sweet gal or the murderous fury. Hello, miss. Gentlemen, I... Uh, don't worry, miss. We're not here to arrest you. Though I admit the temptation is high. I... I just was... Uh... We know, doll. It's all good. what the madam told you to, right? Please, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault. Hey, Marty, you're not gonna propose to her, are you? Please, gentlemen, this is very embarrassing and unpleasant for me. What do you want here? Are you tempting fate? Do you want to die? I want to see the madam again. If we wanted to die, we just had to let the ship burn. You know, the one you put us into. I had nothing to do with that. It was Ibn Wessler's goons. Wessler's goons? Did they knock us out too? No, that was us. The girls. Oh, so is the lemur that knocked us out. I can't tell you more. Tell us this then. Is the madam here? Yes. But I'm sure she wouldn't want to see you. You have to understand that. Okay, fair. We'll see about that, sweet pea. Thanks for the help. <coughs> Please, leave. You're not going to achieve anything here. I'm sorry, Tony. Says you. We can't do that. Not yet. We have to stare at these erotic pictures. You think this is a good idea, Sonny? We're gonna make the crocodile even more angry. Stay outside if you want, Marty. I don't care. Jeez, okay. Okay, boss. I didn't say anything. Oh, shit. We're gonna go see her. Nigh. The dead walk among us. Uh, greetings to you too, madam. Are you surprised to see us? I must admit I am a little. But I also must admit I'm relieved. Yes. yes. Relieved? Wasn't it you who put us on a burning ship by any chance? No, it wasn't me, Mr. Featherland. Though I can't deny my part in it either. Yeah, you oh, croc country. bitch. Look, Mr. Featherland. Your investigation clashed with my business and my personal interests. I couldn't let it slide. That's all there is to it. Nothing more. You're expecting any other explanation in vain. <laughs> you really are cold-blooded, aren't you? Not my <laughs> fault. I'm a crocodile. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you being a crocodile, madam. Mm -hmm. Whatever you think. So, what can I help you with, gentlemen? You can give us. Before you alert your wildcats, we're not here to arrest you, ma'am. We're not even here to confront you with anything. Why then? To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I simply want to know why. The answer is frustratingly simple, Mr. Featherland. You'll hmm. be disappointed. Try yeah, okay, come on. I have a contract with Mr. Wessler, and your investigation infringed certain terms of that contract. That's all. Hmm. Contract, huh? Is Natasha the subject of this contract? You sold her to Ibn Wessler, right? That assumption is offensive. Hmm. So? I'm not going to answer that, Mr. Featherland. No. no. I will bite your head off. I knew it. You know, sister, you could be a famous crocodile. You're still just a snake. And I hope snakes will forgive me that I mentioned them in the same sentence as you. I'm truly <laughs> sorry you feel that way, detective. Maybe one day your opinion will change. Yeah, I doubt it, you croc. Alright, we're done with you. <laughs> Hi! 
Oh shit, Mullen's got some news. Look at what the wind of the sea dragged in. Our girlfriend in the flesh. Can't believe it. Is this guy everywhere? The gull sees farthest to flies highest, Marty. Yeah, that guy's never given up. That's clucking sure. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Mullen. What a night we're having. We even ran into Bubo. And you're still alive? I hear, I hear. I'm just an Irish beaver. We do. What's going on with the old owl? He didn't tell us much about himself. Oh, I hear the old owl's doing quite all right. Since more and more cops step outside the line, and more and more gangsters shoot themselves in the foot. Busy days, huh? Ah, uh, something's coming, lads. It's in the air. And I can feel it in the oh. beaver bones, too. Clovers boiling. Yeah, we feel it as well, Uncle Mullen. Hmm. We managed to run into Philmar, too. Good old Phil, huh? I've heard he's not been doing so well of late. Yeah, he was drunk. He didn't look so good, that's for sure. At the age of the private eye is over, lads. Now animals either sue each other or turn to the local crime lords. Oh. Only jealous or betrayed housewives remain for private detectives. <laughs> Phil would never admit to that. He's too much of a romantic. Are we still talking about Philmar? <laughs> Philmar. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> what the hell is Tim doing here? Uh, you're still angry at him then. He's not really a bad fowler, and he simply idolizes you. Be gentle with him. It's not adoration, it's an obsession. And I can <coughs> bear obsessive people. Oh, then how exactly can you bear Martin? Hey, old man. <laughs> obsession that proves the rule, right? If I'm obsessed, then what are you, boss bird? <laughs> well, that's different. I have no other choice but to be with myself. The toughest prison on the planet, right? <laughs> room, you two. Yeah, cock blocker. Listen, Hercule, what do you know about Madame Zavas? Why do I have the feeling you're not interested in her girls? Because you know us, Uncle. I hope We're gay. I didn't mess with her. The old Cayman has a rather bad reputation, to put it mildly. <clears throat> Crocodile. But you're right. We shouldn't have messed with the old gal. She set fire to a ship with us in it. <laughs> Boys, I've heard she loves drama, but that is a whole other level. Yeah, right. We barely <laughs> got out alive. What else should I tell you about her then? Maybe try not to anger her, if that's possible. <laughs> Thanks. Good <laughs> advice. <laughs> I see everything's like it used to be. <laughs> Yeah, if only my back was the same. <laughs> You're telling me. All right, and it looks like uh, we're going to have to talk to Timothy. What? A collectible. Uh, anyway, we'll talk to Timothy on the next episode of Chicken Police. Everybody, thank you so much for following along. If you missed any of the action, the episode will be my YouTube channel later under The Artist Samurai. Hit like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next episode. See ya!